Hi everybody, I'm Ryan Cruzy. this is Cruzy Originals, and today we're going to be pretty much finishing the Grom. For every $5 you pledge in the Patreon, enters you a chance to win this bike right here that we will be giving away October 13th, Friday the 13th. Today, we're going to be putting on some axle adjusters from Elite Mototech. These lock in, these are very nice. I'm going to be figuring that out as I go. And in this box, this is available for first gen Grom, not second, first generation Grom, which is the most common. We'll pop this out last, but there's something very special in here. It might be a Cruise Originals, and it might be a step up, and it might be a tuck and roll gripper for a Grom. Here we go. So if you guys don't know what this is or know anything about the bike, it's 2015 Honda Grom. It's a 125cc. It's got about 500 miles on it. It has an exhaust and intake. It's been tuned. It has Olin's cartridges in the front. It has Olin's piggyback in the rear. It has an Elite Moto Easy Pull lever on it. These are extremely nice for doing some stunt riding. Uh, what else does it have? I think that's about it. It's pretty stock. It's got Pro Taper bars on it. Stock tires. I have some Dunlop race tires I might put on this. I think if I have time, I'm going to swip it, swap it over to those. It'll probably be one of the last things I do. But right now, I'm going to swap out. These are the stock axle adjusters, which it's got pretty nice ones in it already. But these guys lock in place. So once you get everything dialed in, you crank this guy down, and this squares up, and it locks everything when this gets pulled into this little notch. So your axle can't misadjust at all. It's a pretty nice little setup. And then it has the bolt-on spot so we can still run the race stands back here for if you're track racing or whatever you're going to do. This is so much better than working on a Harley. It's so easy. Just comes apart. Comes apart so nicely and easily and effortlessly. This is small enough. I can just go put it in the sink and psh, hose her down. I'm, I'm actually going to do that. That's real. It's got Galfa rotors on it too. You see that fancy thing on there? I think these are something aftermarket and they are a real tight fit. I got a set screw in the bottom. It's gonna be one of those great hogged out pieces of shit that won't come out. It doesn't fit anything. These are probably some nice Chinese adjusters back here. They make their own bolt sizes over there. Whoever put these in probably rounded them out really bad. Man, they really got nothing that's gonna fit. So then you gotta dip into your bucket of Chinese wrenches because they always come with their own wrenches because they just make their up their own shit. Am I gonna have anything that fits? Chances are slim. Here's one Torx bit that's just a little bit too big to fit in the hole and then just beat the shit out of it. So it kind of peens over the edge of the hole. So the Torx bit that's a little too small now kind of fits. It ain't very strong though, so it's you gotta go slow and easy and help the bolt turns. Come on, baby. Yes! That's your trick tip of the day right there. Made her nice and tight, because this was an Allen of some unknown size to the world. No one knows in the entire world. And didn't fit anything, so I just beat the, you know, your hole where your Allen falls into, beat that edge down a little bit, and then you can beat the next size under into it, and hopefully it'll move. Otherwise, you're drilling it. Yes, thank you. Look how easy that was. I would say this is a better version of whatever we had before. So I'm gonna cut off with a razor blade. I'm gonna get this stuff all prepped up and ready while that wheel soaks with the old Simple Green on it a little bit. Simple Green is a nice organic cleaner. It works good. Works good for cleaning motorcycles and dusty shit. I think it's made with vegetables or fruits or some kind of shit. You're supposed to be able to drink it as well. I'm not gonna try it, but it's supposed to be simply green. Now I'm gonna put on some grips that Matt bought for Trent for his birthday a long time ago and Trent never used them. Get her started. 
a little compressed air. Looks pretty fresh. All the gold matches. Need an, a gold elite lever for this side. They've been out of stock. I need to hit them up and see if I can get one again. Get her all matching. Oh, mm. roll them stoppies real nice. Go pull that back wheel out, slide that thing in, make it all clean. Get a fancy look at these axle adjusters back here. I also got these guys ready to go back on. She's gonna be pretty fly. Do I need these still? Probably. I'll find them later. Look how nice that shit is. It just goes where it's supposed to. They like a Harley adjuster. Elite, you should make some Harley adjusters like this. That would be sick. See these nice fine adjuster lines right here? That way you can set this up nice and easily. And I'm gonna match her up over here on the third line. Check my chain, hold. This is upon Trent's request and it's right. We need to lower the brake pedal. It is extremely high. When you're sitting, your foot's actually sitting down like this and the brake pedal's up here. So I'm gonna bring it down a bunch and then we're gonna pop it down. We're gonna pop that saddleman out. Are you guys ready for the most exciting part? The part that I've been waiting for. The only, the part that I'm really just working on this thing today is so I can get to this part. That's why I did the other parts first because this is the one that I'm waiting for the most. And I kind of knew if I did this part first, I probably wouldn't do the other ones. So that being said, grips are on, axles adjusters are in, brake pedal is adjusted, which is a huge pain in the ass if you've never done it before. And now we're gonna get rid of this whack ass seat right here, which if you've rode wheelies on these or rode one of these at all, the stock seat definitely sucks. It's very smooth. We have something a little custom. Let's pop this guy off. From Saddleman. That they made special for us and it is available. So if you want one of these, all you have to do is call the shop, talk to Trent. They might be on the website, might not be. I don't think so. Trent says he guesses he can put them on there. <laughs> if they're not on there, just call the shop. We can get you one because there is no other Grom seat like this, I promise. But look at this. That is a step up, tuck and roll, tri-gripper, Cruzy Originals, made by Saddleman, first generation Grom seat. Right here, look at that thing. That, she bad, let's put it on. Oh man, look at that. Damn, that's a, that's a sick seat. I mean, that's it, I'm done. Friday the 13th in October, we will be picking the winner for this. We won't be picking the winner, somebody does that for us, but the winner will be drawn on Friday the 13th. We will announce it that day. It's kind of a wild day to announce it. Cross your fingers, you know, wish yourselves good luck and go join our Patreon. You can see all the bloopers from our videos. Every time we drop a video, we'll be block, dropping a little blooper reel on there so you can see like the stuff that we cut out and the stuff that maybe doesn't, isn't kosher for YouTube. And uh, we might drop some podcasts again. Probably not, I really don't like doing them, I'm gonna be honest. But we do put a bunch of stuff on there. We give stuff away there regularly. When we're not giving away bikes, we're giving away parts and it really helps us create more content like this. Tell a friend, tell your mom, Tell her friends. Get some. I'm, I mean, I'm, about, I'm probably her age anyway, so get her in on the mix. You know what I'm saying? We'll pop this thing down, let you look at it a little bit. Stay tuned, like, subscribe. Remember, we'll be in Mexico. November, we're doing the Rocky Point Rally Stunt Shows down there. We will also be hosting the Halloween Hood Ride like we do every year. It is October 29th. Meetup is around 10 o'clock. If you don't know the spot, look into it. You can find out the spot. It's also the same weekend as Beat the Heat here in Phoenix. That's on Saturday, the mini ride's on Sunday. It is massive. It's one of the biggest mini rides probably on the planet. Win this, come out to the mini ride. Thanks for watching. Love you guys so much. Peace.